Okay, so let's check out some quick actions. So if I go something like this, I'll say that I want to use a class called X element. Uh, something like that. So X element, we see we got a red squiggly here, but we also see this little light bulb. So that light bulb is a quick action. It may, basically means that if we go Alt Enter, it says I can do something for you. Maybe you want to add a using statement here because I know there is a class called X element in the namespace system XML.link. So just hit Enter and it basically adds that using statement. And while we're, while we're here, we get another little light bulb over here saying basically remove un unused using statements. So Alt Enter over there, remove some. And that thing you can use all the time. So we can do stuff like refactorings with it. Uh, let's say I want name and refactoring, by the way, that's just, you know, the code works, but I want to change it up, like to make it more readable or whatever. So name, let's say first name would be a more appropriate name for that. We got a little light bulb over here. So I'll go Alt Enter and it says rename name to first name. So basically now it's changed first name there, there. And if I do an F12, we see that it changed there, of course. So that works all across the solutions. If you have a solution with tons of projects in it, you know, that, that'll take care of it. That's the, the beauty of having a statically typed language. So um, the, the, that light bulb feature or the quick action feature is, really comes in handy. So always keep, keep a lookout when you see that. Uh, of course, if I just uh, mark this line it says hmm I got something for you well let's see what you got uh, new method okay so basically it says here we have a new method what would you like to call it I like to call it do stuff the person and it recognized that okay um, you were messing around with the first name so you basically need a reference to person so I'm gonna throw that, that one in there it also notices that well, you were calling from a static context, so I'll just make this one static. And you were calling within the class, so I'll just make that one private. So it's kind of it's kind of semi-intelligent, actually. Um, <clears throat> Okie dokie. So, um, whoops. There you go. Uh, so let's check out some XML comments. So name now, I don't really know what that does person I don't really know what that does so I'll F12 to that one and hit just type three slashes over here person I'll say something intelligent like represents a person and the name actually the first name something like that oh sorry uh, I gotta use three there we go um, and now if I we'll switch back here, and I'll just hover over person, not really getting anything interesting. Actually, the first name. So the property is is, uh, is working at least. Not sure why the person isn't working. Let me close that tab and reopen it. So I'll exit full screen, open program again, hover over person. I get nothing. Well, well what can you do? Let's live with it. So uh, th those are kind of nice because, uh, I mean, if you're writing a class library, at least, it, you really should add those because it's really practical that those show up in the IntelliSense. Uh, and while you're doing that, there's something interesting that I learned about quite recently, actually. So let's say that this name, actually the first name, let's say I want to say actually the first name of the person but this is a magical string I mean it's not compile time sensitive or I mean the, the compiler has no idea that this is just a comment that's a person if I change person if I refactor that name this comment ain't gonna you know uh, ain't gonna change uh, 
So we can do something interesting here. We can do like a C and it gives us a C ref and there we can say person. And that's kind of nice because now this is, it's no longer a magical string. Now we can say uh, person, let's call it person one, rename that thing and it has renamed here as well. And it also shows up in an interesting way here. So it says actually the first name of the person. So that is now color notated as the class. So it's it's uh, it's really interesting way to to keep the keep it from being a a, a magical string because we hate magic strings, right? Um, all right. Let's say we open. Up, up a file and I'll just mess about the formatting here. So I'll go control A, hold down shift and press tab a couple of times. So now it doesn't look so pretty. So if I want to format this document, we can go control, keep it pressed and do K uh, D. So control K D, release control. That's basically, you know, format the entire document. If you want to comment out multiple lines, just uh, mark the lines you want to comment out and do control KC. Uh, so, so the C would stand for comment, I guess, and KU for uncomment. Um, of course, we haven't even spoken about the most basic keyboard shortcuts, right? Control Shift B for compile, we should do that basically after every line. Uh, control F5 for just running the application. F5 if we want to debug the application, but as I mentioned, I'll do a separate video on debugging. Uh, and if, I just thought I'd mention that here, because if you have a huge solution with like tons of projects and you just want to compile the project you're currently working on, that would be Shift F6. So Control Shift B is for compiling the entire project, same as F6 for, we'll do the exact same thing. But just com compile the current project, it's just Shift F6. Um, it's actually pretty handy in huge solutions. Uh, and if, by the way, speaking of huge solutions, if you're compiling and you've, you, you like noticed, oh, I forgot something, I'd like to cancel this compilation, it's Control Break. So Control Break will like cancel the actual uh, compilation. It's uh, really really comes in handy in, in those, those situations. Uh, I mentioned, I think, control space for show me the intelligence. If we have something like, uh, if we're calling a, uh, let's do something like this. Let's call a method that takes several parameters and I want to show, want intelligence to show me information on those specific parameters. Uh, let's do something like this, person dot uh, do stuff and I'll enter a 10. So note here that I'm actually adding a method that's not present. I'm calling a method that's not really present on the person class. But of course we got our little light bulb here. So Alt Enter to generate a method, F12 to go into that method. And I'll take it, um, I'll exchange this V for, um, let's say H. Um, and let's go control hyphen to go back two times. And here, if I'm standing here and I want to really like see, okay, what can I do? What, what, what's it supposed to give me? Control shift space will say that, yeah, you're now supposed to enter the H parameter. So if there's like more of them, it really, you know, it separates them. Now you're on H uh, and now you're supposed to type V. So it's actually uh, quite a nice, nice feature. So that would be control space for just force intelligence to show up and control shift space to like, okay, show me which parameter I'm looking at here. Um, okie dokie. So uh, I think one more thing I'd like to, to show, of course, uh, a powerful one, if, 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 uh, if what, if, if IntelliSense isn't showing you everything you need, uh, 
you can always go like, okay, string. We talked about hitting F12 and seeing all about the string from the metadata. But you can also hit F1 here. So F1 is help, right? So that will take you, that will open up a browser and take you to the actual documentation on MSDN, showing you everything about a string. Uh, so the last thing I'd like to show is block markings. So um, sometimes maybe I want to do something like this. So I want to type basically, I want to do many, write many, several lines at the same time. So I'll just hit Alt. So keep Alt pressed, and you can and you press down the you know, the left mouse button, and you can basically mark stuff in in blocks. So you can like type and you're typing on several lines. So let's say I want to um, use this person to do something like that. So I'm marking two lines here. Whoops. And I'll go person dot h plus plus. So uh, that thing that can actually be useful whenever you want to do something like this and change whatever person is or whatever. Uh, all right, I think that's about it. So I'm sure I missed like tons of important stuff, but those are the things, those are the, the shortcuts that I'm using like almost every day. So please tell me what I missed. And uh, if you find something useful, then, uh, you know, there's another one coming up on debugging. You don't have to hit like on the video. You don't have to subscribe to the channel or anything. All you have to do is have a great day. And if there's any other videos you want me to do, if you found this helpful, then type in the comments and tell me what you'd like to see. Have an awesome day, everyone. See you later.